Jeff Hoon, OK, is the Transport Minister, yes? And uh, he announced this week that he wants to have more average speed cameras on the roads, OK, because he says they're good for safety and they reduce fuel consumption. Now, this is the same Jeff Hoon who, when he was Defence Secretary, said, and I'm quoting, uh, we know that Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> So he must be right about the speed cameras as well, then? Yes, absolutely. He's pr I'll tell you what he's done, OK, because he claims he goes on the M1 a lot in those roadworks. You know, around Junction 6, 8, they're up there. Well, they've been doing them for, well, since 1850. Forever. Yeah, just been doing it for average speed cameras on that. And he says, well, there you are, you see, there's hardly been any accidents. That's because the roads are jammed up. Not moving. Then no, you can't crash when you're stationary. Soon, though, we'll be able to, uh, we'll have that Tory transport bloke. Whose name is? Uh, Who? It's a funny name for a bloke. Teresa Villiers. How can you know that? <laughs> because he is Teresa whatever. Because there's only a finite amount of space for information in your head. So if he's got that in it, what's come out? How to dress properly. Well done, Theresa. So it's actually this man's a woman. I think that's fascinating because she hasn't really got a, any policies across that we've ever seen. Well, not that we've heard of, obviously. So we've had to come up with some of our own. Once again, Top Gear rides to the rescue of the nation. Uh, what's next, guys? As I want to talk about Aston Martin brought out a new car. It's uh, the 177. Here it is. It's a striking looking thing, I know. Mm. And I think it goes to show just how in tune with the times Aston Martin are. Mm. It really is a car for the moment. Mm -hmm. 7.3 litre V12. Oh, I'm glad about that. I get, must get 100 calls a day from people saying, I've, I'm, I've got to have at least 7.3 yeah. litres in 12 cylinders. <laughs> That's, That's what I want right now. You very know. much of the moment, yeah. absolutely. Price, £1.2 million. Pounds. Oh, and good thing. Like literally this morning, 30 yeah. people called up. I'm not spending a penny more than 1.2 mil on my next car. Uh, uh, Aston have got it bang on right, because as we know, the world right now is full of stockbrokers desperate for something to blow their enormous bonus on. <laughs> and there, there it is. Pretty soon, Aston Martin are going to be selling more more key rings than they are cars, <laughs> or making more money from them at Actually, least. Actually, they say that they've uh, that a hundred potential customers have written to them to express their interest. A hundred? Yeah, written in crayon, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Great news! They've done an off-road version of the Dacia Sandero. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the Renault badge. That's the Dacia, that baby. What the hell are you on about? It's Dacia. <laughs> It's a Dacia. I know it says Ren. I just said that. Have you got a beard in your ears as well? Or is... <laughs> Why do ginger people always grow more of it on their faces? <laughs> they do. Can I just ask? You see the show last week. Will Young was the guest. And I don't know if anybody else noticed, but when he first sat down, mm. it was sort of Jeremy was not really bothered. He didn't even know his name. Didn't know what to talk about. <laughs> Next minute, he's going all doe-eyed looking at him, talking, <laughs> talking about interior design. Oh, well, I love cushions as well. I'm having my house done up. <laughs> really? And you had a mini. They're lovely, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's in love. Are you suggesting Will Young is gay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Are you kidding? Yes. Is he? To be honest, it was beautiful to watch. It's just my gaydar doesn't work as well as yours, obviously. <laughs> that jacket. How big was the bet? Pretty big. OK, now, <laughs> I want you to look at this. This is a field of unsold Range Rovers. Now, do you know why they're unsold? Well, nobody's got any money at the moment. No. Look at the colours. That's the range of colour that Land Rover does. Now, if you go down to home base to paint your walls, they off you can have any colour you like for a fiver. Actually, you can go in with that jacket. Well, maybe not. You could go in with this shirt and you could say, I want that colour, but a bit more orange, and they scan it with a thing. Exactly. And, and it's just not good enough now. Okay, look at this. What I've got here is the Audi brochure, okay, for the A8, a £70,000 car here, okay? Range of colours available. There you go. They printed it in black and white. <laughs> That's it, OK? Colours. For an extra £2,400, they will paint it in any colour you like from that chart. 
That's just a spectrum. Yes. Oh, sir, wants it in uh, visible light, does he? There you sir? go. So <laughs> if, you, there you go. if you want your car in colour, two thousand four hundred pounds. If you want it in black and white, it's, the, it's just ridiculous. Well, what, what you need to do, look, is buy a BMW X5, because they understand this problem. They have a special range, which they call BMW Individual. The higher your standards, the less room there is for compromise. As an upshot of that, they offer it in black, silver, silver and black. <laughs> Gentlemen, as you're getting all hot under your tweed collars about this one, <laughs> um, can I just say, I know a little bit about this, and the reason that car manufacturers well, they have to plan their paint colours years in advance because they have to test to make sure that each colour works on the plastic, say, of the, the bumpers and on the metal of the body, on the, those two materials that come out the same colour. They do. Rubbish. What well, you say, it has to be the same colour, whether it's on plastic or metal? Yes. No, because I was painting my sitting room the other day and the paint was exactly the same colour on the wall as it was on the wooden skirting board and on my hand and on the solar machine and subsequently on the stair carpet, all exactly the same colour. Can right. I just... I really want to show you this. This is the Mercedes CLK. Can we see down here? These are yeah. soft top fabric, OK? Yeah. Do you want to know what it says underneath? Cabriolet only. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to have that on my hard top.